Well, a very warm welcome to you on a balmy evening in Foxborough, Massachusetts. This is the Gillette Stadium, 20-odd miles southwest of downtown Boston. And you don't need telling who that is. Pele is here to oversee the prestige-friendly of International Week between the upcoming and increasingly excited World Cup hosts Brazil and their European cousins from Portugal, represented by their all-time icon, Eusebio, who also meets the teams. Well, Brazil arrive here fresh from an effortless stroll against Australia back home at the weekend. That 6-0 win was achieved without Hulk, Dani Alves, Oscar or Fred. And in addition to those absentees, tonight's stiffer task must be undertaken minus Marcelo, who hobbled off injured in Brasilia. Maxwell comes in. Portugal's chaotic and dramatic victory in Belfast on Friday came at a cost. Cristiano Ronaldo's match-rescuing hat-trick rendered him fit only for a prompt return to Madrid, and Helder Postiga's dismissal means they rehearse without him now in anticipation of his suspension. So into the attacking unit come Manchester United's Nani and the less heralded Nelson Oliveira, who has had a spectacular start to the French League season with his club, Ren. Two great footballing nations who bring great colour. Historically, and culturally close, these transatlantic cousins are ranked as near equals in the international game. Brazil ninth, Portugal seventh, almost nothing between them. And whenever they meet, there is a, a natural intimacy about the occasion offset by a competitiveness which is akin to sibling rivalry. meeting since a rather anticlimactic goalless draw in Durban at the last World Cup. Oddly, by the time they met in that group stage game, there was nothing on it, and yet somehow this friendly seems to have garnered a meaning which that competitive one didn't have. The referee is one of the brightest, youngest and best from the MLS, 26-year-old Juan Guzman. Two hundred and seventy-five days, less than 40 weeks to go now before the next really big game for Brazil, the game that will launch their World Cup in Sao Paulo in June. Boosted forward by Thiago Silva. Neymar was interested and uh, Pepe is obviously irritated by his closest to that event. And Neymar is in the book. Well, well I, I think he just gives Pepe a little shove. He knows that he's not going to he's not going to get to the through ball, and as Pepe tries to just block his run, he gives him a little shove as the goalkeeper claims the ball. You watch it here. Look, it's, a, it's shoulder to shoulder, but he pushes him into the path of the goalkeeper, and obviously Patricio goes over the top of him, which is a very very dangerous fall. I think Neymar's protecting himself, but the shove definitely pushed him into the goalkeeper. Nani. Saw a dash again from Real Moreles, what a bright run that was. That's a poor giveaway to Veloso. Outrushed Thiago Silva, down by Michael Moreles is there and nicks it home. Well, he's made three runs. A header hits the post, a run where he doesn't receive the pass. And on the third one, he makes the run and he takes a chance. It's an unbelievable block from Thiago Silva, but the ball goes up in the air and it's Maicon that just completely loses his bearings. He takes the chance to head it back to the goalkeeper. Morelis making the run, he's on it like a shot and puts Portugal in the lead. Great opportunism. Uh, Real Morelis has started the game with great energy, great verve and with great anticipation. He became aware of a potential catastrophe for Mykon, and he pounced on it. On the night when he wins his 70th international cap, he is the brightest button in the box to snatch his ninth international goal.
Well, he took a chance and he, it paid dividends for him. I'm not so sure whether Mykon actually got a call because you could see his clear intention was just to look at the ball as it's dropping out of the sky. Bernard. Neymar. Out by Patricio, taken up by Bernard, who's gone over the goalkeeper. And uh, demonstrated a certain willingness to take a tumble. Referee, I don't think, has been taken in, though uh, Bernard is continuing to try and convince him that there was a foul. Just a, just a dive, he miscontrolled it as he tried to just take the ball to the outside of the goalkeeper after Patricio's fumble. You can see here, good angle here, clips it away, oh, absolutely dear. no, the referee should certainly pull him up on that. But Neymar's corner, and there is the equaliser in next to no time from Thiago Silva, who rose with majesty at the back post to draw Brazil almost instantly level. Well, we were saying that uh, Philips Galari's team were being asked a few questions by Portugal, but what a fantastic response from his team. Neymar corner that really has whipped him well to that far post. And Thiago Silva, there was only going to be one winner of this header. Look at the way he attacks it. Two or three strides, great jump, and really powers the header into the back of the net to get Brazil level. I think we've got a game on our hands here. Super game. We've had just a quarter of it. We've uh, had a goal each. The second of them, Thiago Silva's second international goal. The first was against the USA last May. The second is in the USA for the Paris Saint-Germain man. Not a first to a shot from distance. Here's the Arena. Nani! Close. Well, Peter, there's that cross again from the right-hand side. They've worked the ball into a crossing position. It really is whipped in with real quality. And Nani just gets across the front of Mikon. And really, from there, he would be expected to hit the target. And had it been on target, it would have been in the back of the net because that is a glorious off fullback. Good work from the keeper. Here he goes again, Neymar. Brilliant! Superb solo goal from world football's main man. Neymar all by himself. Just dug through and insisted on scoring. Brazil have come from behind and lead. And Peter, that's why he is so exciting. Bruno Alves has tried to knock him out. What does he do? He get, picks himself up the, off the turf and he shows them exactly what he's capable of. Brilliant drive in from the left-hand side. He drew the defenders, he skipped past two. He drove between three on-rushing defenders to fire the ball into the far post. Give the goalkeeper absolutely no chance. A really special goal from a very, very special player. That's what Barcelona spent all that money on. You can see why. He's been kicked and buffeted, hindered and bruised over the first 35 minutes of the game. But he has found the perfect answer. Well, the referee's seen enough for now. The rest of us would crave that it goes on forever because it's been a terrifically intense first half. At the end of which, Brazil, having trailed to Real Morelles, have established a lead. Silva's equaliser, Neymar's brilliant goal. And so, in Foxborough, Massachusetts, we reach the half-time interval with a scoreline reading Brazil 2, Portugal 1. Well, from a neutral perspective, it would be uh, a shame, Clive, if there were too many alterations. Six are available. And it looks to me as though uh, the core of that Brazilian side, if not its entirety, is emerging together. Yeah, and that will be good to see because I think uh, the intensity and the commitment from both sets of players has been absolutely spectacular when you, when you consider they're here in Massachusetts tonight playing in what is a prestigious friendly. 
but it's being played in the right manner. Good test for Brazil early on. You know, Portugal put them under pressure, asked questions of them, certainly defensively. But this man with a most wondrous... Paulinho. Neymar. That's a really clever ball, and Joe will finish. Beautifully constructed again by Brazil. The simplest part was Joe's application of the final touch. Maxwell having been sumptuously slipped in by Neymar. And Brazil have a two-goal advantage now. And Joe just can't help himself. The resurrection of his international career goes on apace. And Paulo Bento has problems. Or well, two at the weekend for Joe, and this is an, an easy one for him to finish. But it all started with Ramirez winning the ball on the halfway line. The counter attack was swift, and when Maxwell gets to the byline, Joe's in the right place. Beautifully weighted pass by Neymar. Great cross, picking out Joe centrally from Maxwell, and he just bundles it over the line to give Brazil a 3 1 lead. And Joe is. A very happy habit at the moment of being the right fella at the right time in the right place. It's, as you know better than anyone, Clive, what centre forwards have to have that habit. But he scored uh, a couple of goals in the Confederations Cup as a very late substitute. Here it is, Boris Morelos again. Now Nani. Nani. Oh, he's got under it and skewed it rather nastily. Well, he's had two attempts with his right foot from three kicks. On this occasion, it, great footwork to work the shooting opportunity on his left, but this time he just completely slices the shot. Great the way he rolls, the, and again, it's almost like a, he's chipping the ball away. Instead of driving through it, he goes completely underneath it. High and wide. And that is the lot it's uh, been a mightily competitive game and a mightily engrossing watch and brazil have underlined again that they are finding momentum at just the right time scolari and bento with much mutual admiration and indeed affection they are good friends neymar standing with them the standout player of the night and it was he who most decorated a 3-1 win for Brazil, which will delight their coach, albeit at the expense of his close ally there, Bento.